What is an item you decided to spend a little bit more on and now you can't possibly go back to an inferior product? Good shoes. High speed internet once you have it you can never go back. Just think. There are actually people out there that have to use dial up. I'm sorry guys. It gets better. Fleeced line tights. They're like wearing kittens. In the winter. Try fleece line jeans. Blew my freaking mind. Disk drive. Bought an SSD, and now if a computer ever takes more than 7 seconds to reboot, I start to go bonkers. Anyone buying a new PC these days should buy an SSD at least for the OS and video games. They're finally affordable enough now that it makes less sense to not buy one. Bread, can't possibly buy a loaf of average white bread when it's only $1 more for the way better stuff. Go to the bakery, not the hostess outlet crap. But a good bakery, I get the best loaf, wheat, white, rye, for a buck, I eat that crap plain. Spent $4 on a kick butt ballpoint pen, ridiculously smooth and comfortable, my handwriting speed and neatness improved dramatically, never going back to the $2 for a pack of 10 again. Pilot G2. Socks, keyboard, SSD, I simply cannot stand socks that get loose and slide around. Since about 3 years ago I've only bought one kind of socks, and thrown out all the rest. As a bonus, all my socks match. I have a mechanical keyboard, and whenever I use someone else's keyboard, it feels like I'm typing on switches made of molasses. Owner of IBM Model M here. These keyboards make every other keyboard look like something from the dollar store. Tempopedic mattress. GF at the time had chronic back pain. Spend 3k on a mattress, I can never go back, every girl I've ever had over falls in love with it, although it's terrible for having sex on because it absorb all the movement, like banging on quicksand. Keep your old bed in the next room, please, allow me to escort you to the frick bed. Good cutlery, can't beat a sharp knife when chopping up food, or people. Dual monitors so much room for activities. Now whenever I have to use a friend or family's computer I get so annoyed with needing to move windows around constantly. Hope to increase my monitor number this holiday. I'm a 3. Can't go back. Want 4. For me it would be bed sheets. I slept on 180 thread counts for 23 years of my life then a girl I was going out with had 1000s on her bed. Holy crap what a difference. Went home the next day and hopped in my bed to what now felt like sandpaper. Been buying 1000 to 1200 ever since. I got 700 thread count back home. It's like sleeping in lotion. Sushi. Never, ever, ever, ever eat discount sushi. Ever. My one friend ate gas station sushi once. God, I miss him. I didn't but my cat did. Our parents got him some new fancy feast dry cat food. Little sucker throws up if we give him anything else. A backpack. A good quality backpack. Decently large size with comfortable straps. Non flimsy low distribution clasps. Good number of pockets and utility pockets. And, most of all, high quality zippers is easily worth the money. Uh, my Jansport backpack is now in its 25th year. I have carried this thing since I was in high school. Traveled with it. Flown with it. Schlepped it on road trips and camping trips and used it as a diaper bag for two kids. Now doing the working mom wife college thing and it still holds up. It should go back to Jansport for a zipperectomy, but I'm afraid they are going to want to replace it. Smart wool socks. I have become a sock snob, and I'm proud of it. These socks are mother freaking magical. On those cold winter mornings when you have to walk to class, you never want to get out of your bed. Having smart wool socks makes getting your butt to class. Dear stand. Whatever when it is cold as balls outside not a big deal. I don't know why but when I wear smart wool socks, it makes fighting the cold easier for my whole body. Bras. I got myself properly fitted at this fancy butt bra store, and after getting myself a properly fitted $70 bra, I look 10 pounds slimmer, my back doesn't hurt anymore, and my clothes fit better. There's no going back from here. Our Abra Thatfits is a lifesaver for bra fitting. Bicycles. 
While any bike is better than no bike, riding a crappy department store bike is an exercise in frustration, and cheap mountain bikes are an invitation to injury if you plan to do any serious off-roading. I would agree with you to the extent that a quality bike is worth buying over a poor quality bike, but that doesn't necessarily mean spending more. A used $100 steel frame 10 speed from the 80s is going to be much better than a new $150 Walmart bike. I have been getting most of my vegetables at the farmer's market lately and I don't think I can go back to my supermarket. I love to eat my tomatoes raw. They taste different. Sweet almost spicy. Sonic Air Toothbrush. I honestly don't know if I'll ever be able to go back to a regular toothbrush now. I didn't know what clean teeth felt like till I got a Sonic Air. Tempopedic Mattress. Great for my bad back. I am so tempted to invest a couple grand into a nice mattress. You do spend a third of your life on it. Real Maple Syrup. Tip, Kirkland brand maple syrup is 100% real and about $15. From what I remember, not as expensive as a lot of other brands and it's delicious. Razors for the upstairs and especially downstairs. Razors are small, and if a regular one's too heavy just get a travel one and carry it up and down with you. Parmesan cheese. Seriously, do you use that bulls in a green can? I can't touch the stuff anymore. Go to the nice grocery store and get a block of parmesan and grate it yourself. It's pure glory. Costco. Best value by far for Grano Padano or Parmigiano Reggiano. $300 work boots. I need CSA approved boots that have the extra ankle protection. 8 inches worth. I spent a little extra money and bought some red wings. They are $300 before taxes, and they're hands down the most comfortable footwear. They last longer, and they feel amazing. 12 hour days in a structural shop are a breeze with them on. I could never go back to buying the bottom of the barrel $150 boots. I've tried them, and they just aren't with it. More than $300 work boots. I need CSA approved boots. The CSA invaded Gettysburg for shoes. They don't frick around. Coffee. Folgers just doesn't cut it anymore. If the best part of waking up is Folgers in my cup, I am not sure I want to wake up. Mike Burbaglia. Good knives for the kitchen. Everyone else is a now crap. Tattoos. You get exactly what you pay for. Shaving cream. I got one of the fancy kinds as a gift a few years ago, and I can never go back. It doesn't even feel like I'm shaving. It's more like being softly nuzzled by a friendly koala. Koalas aren't actually that soft in real life. It's sort of coarse and itchy. Jeans. I may buy the rest of my clothes at Target and Kohl's, but I have never found a cheap pair of jeans that fit me just right. Levi's for me. The expensive ones never fit me as well as the levy I buy do. Cheese. Grew up on good Olay fashion American singles. Few years back I started buying Slice Colby, Pepper Jack, Swiss, etc. For my sandwiches. One trip to the grocery store that I was trying to pinch pennies. I bought some Kraft American singles. Ate a few and threw the pack away. Processed cheese product is in fact not actual cheese. Sidebar. It makes me a little sad that American cheese is fake cheese. I was struggling a few years ago, and basically living on toasted ham and cheese sandwiches for a while, but I'd always spend a couple of extra dollars to get decent cheese. It was a crappy time, but at least I could make it a bit better by having tasty cheese. I can't stand processed or boring cheese. A nice sharp and flavorful cheese adds so much to a meal. Tampons. Plastic applicators all day and name brand are the best. Frick you equate and all you other cardboard applicators. Accidentally bought the cardboard applicator ones one time. My vagina cried. I cried. It was just bad. Real chocolate. Once you know what the taste of real chocolate tastes like, you will never eat another Hershey or Mars product again. You'll also stop eating Cadbury products that were made in the United States. As far as I can tell. Cadbury products still made in the UK taste significantly better. If you want to acquire a taste of what real chocolate tastes like without breaking your bank account, try Lint. Sure they're $2.49 to $2.99 a bar compared to 3x for 99 cents for a Hershey bar. 
But remember that this company petitioned to the FDA to allow processed content with 0% cocoa nibs to be called chocolate. That should tell you something. I also recommend Ritter Sport. If you want to get fancier go for Schaffenberger. Headphones. I don't understand why anyone uses the stock phones that come with their phone, iPod, whatever. If you listen to a lot of music, it's definitely worth the money. I got $35 Sennheiser HD 201S about 8 months ago, and they broke about 2 months ago. Luckily, they came with a 2 year warranty, so I was able to get them replaced. The quality is superb, and people should consider them or other ones with warranties. Always buy headphones with free warranties, they will break. Pocket knives. A decent one blows every inferior one out of the water. I'm never carrying a cheap knife again. Not quite the same thing, but I spent almost a hundred on a Leatherman multi-tool in high school when I couldn't really afford it. Been almost six years and I have never regretted anything less. A vibrator. I can never go back to fingers. Never. Hitachi Magic Wand FTW. Foundation. Very fair and oily skin, with occasional pimples. I used to compromise between the shade, mattifying effect, coverage. I thought there's no hope for me, and I didn't believe that buying a 30 pound foundation is okay and will help at all. And then I've started a better job, with a better pay, and thought I could try just once. My choice was Estee Lauder W ear. Yup, not going back now. Q-tip brand Q-tips. Have you ever tried another brand? Ear canal bliss turns to a form of enhanced interrogation. Computer. The typewriter just wasn't doing it for me. Paper towels. The Viva kind. Amazing. Totally agree. They are the absolute best. Paint brushes. I will never buy a $3 paintbrush. I prefer my projects to be bristle free. Whiskey bourbon. I've always drank Maker's Mark in the past. I recently got a bottle of 9 year Knob Creek. About one price point up. I'd be afraid that trying anything better would force me to spend another $10 a bottle going forward. But I also got a bottle of Johnny Walker Blue, which tastes like floor cleaner. So I should be safe. Sunglasses. Seriously now when I go out without mine it just doesn't feel right. My boss ran over my Ducati Oakleys with his work truck. Picked up the pieces and popped them all back together and they are still straight as an arrow. Heck, the lenses didn't even scratch. T. Spotify. Once you get rid of the ads you can never go back. Computer monitor. Once you use an IPS panel there is no going back. Every other screen I use looks like crap now. If only you could get a 120HZ IPS panel. 120 FPS games look so silky smooth. Sync 120 HZTF2 on my GTX 770 looks so good. Keep your 60 HZ you dirty heathens. A good rain jacket. Spend a little extra and you'll be thanking yourself over and over. Gore-Tex for me is the greatest creation ever. Books, jackets, pants. Anything that says Gore-Tex. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.